It all starts with the olive oil. It always does. For marinade, need a little olive oil, fresh chopped garlic, fresh thyme. You want to take your lamb. This one's from New Hampshire. It's a beautiful free range leg. Grass fed, grass finished. Take your marinade. Pour it on there. And rub it in there again. Next up, you want to stud the lamb with garlic. Cut the garlic into slivers or small wedges. I like to use a paring knife. Small incision. And a piece of garlic right in there. Wrap it all back up nice and tight. Throw it in the fridge. And then head out to Boston Common to protest the bank takeover of the American financial system. What could be better? Just a little bit. For the next step, we need about a quarter pound of pancetta. The leaner the better. A few tablespoons of fresh rosemary and about eight cloves of garlic. First, we want to crush the garlic coarsely. Dice your pancetta. Rosemary from the stems into the food processor with all of it. I did the food processor so it's all sitting in the bottom. I went near pancetta. out with it's a nice paste. Add some black pepper. The lamb we marinated yesterday. Mm -mm. I want to go back to that paring knife. Make a series of cuts. About a half inch deep. Take some of your paste. Stick it in there. Just keep working it in with your finger. Chop up some carrots. Your leeks. Pull the tomatoes. We're going to brown the lamb. A little olive oil to a saute pan. Once the oil's hot, 
Drop your lamb in. I'm going to let this brown for about 15 minutes. You want to get the lamb evenly browned on all four sides. Well, as many sides as there are. This may require popping it up a bit with a spoon. That's the rosemary. Mm. Wonderful, isn't it? Once the lamb sufficiently brown, take it out. Add your onions. Remove that from the saute pan. Add about two cups of wine and bring to a boil. Once it starts boiling, you basically want to reduce it by about half. So once you're down to about a cup of wine, you're all set. See the wine, wine bubbling up nice. Up, oh, bubbling up there too. How is it? Mmm, very good. Good. Put your lamb in your roasting pot. Our wine's been sufficiently reduced. We're going to add some chicken stock. Chicken in whatever proportion you want. Don't use more than 50% wine. This whole recipe, by the way, comes from Alexander Dumas and his Grand Dictionnaire de la Cuisine. Dumas most famous for the Three Musketeers and the Count of Monte Cristo, but the Grand Dictionnaire de la Cuisine may in fact be his masterpiece, as you'll see in a few hours. So your vegetables, your stock and wine. Throw in some tomatoes. Your oven's been preheated to 350. Seal it up. And in it goes. And you're going to let that thing cook for at least five hours. About five hours. Keep tracking it. You can continue to baste it. It's going to shrink. The fat's going to dissolve. And in five hours, you'll be able to eat it with a spoon. That's that. All done. Let's have a look after an hour or so. Ah, oh, cooking up nice. And after five hours, here's the lamb. Take out the trusses. You would tie the shrimp. Fried ice cream. Spoon over some of your stock. Delicious thing ever. So good. Leave it for the cats. Dad, what's your cooking show called? Cooking with Alexander Dumas. <laughs> Or serving the lamb to the priestly people. Oh. Priestly people. <laughs> oh, sorry. Happy Easter, everybody. Happy Easter. Mm -hmm.